Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Buholtz brownies. These were mailed to us from Austin and Amanda. They ordered them uh, for us, and we are very, very grateful. These are huge brownies. These are, uh, the Buholtz brownies are from their November, uh, their fall flavors. So we have a carrot cake, a maple pecan, a Nutella cheesecake Oreo, and a sweet apple pie. So when these arrive, you if you don't plan on eating them right at that minute, you want to put them in the refrigerator. And then uh, you want to, you can heat them in the oven for like eight to 10 minutes, or you, you know what, I wanna use scissors. It would just be easier. Um, or, uh, you can heat them in the microwave for 30 seconds or however long you want. I know we're not going to go for 30 seconds in our microwave because microwave times vary. And so, look how big that is. I mean, my goodness, that is the carrot cake. And I mean, it smells like carrot cake. Okay, this is the maple pecan. And you should be able to just slide it out of here, but I didn't want to mess that carrot cake one up because it had uh, the white chips on it. So the maple pecan, and I can smell maple. Again, it's a good size. I don't think it's not quite as big as that carrot cake, but it's pretty, pretty, pretty big. Okay, and then this one is the Nutella cheesecake Oreo, and this will be another one I'll cut just because I don't want. I can see those chips are loose, and I don't want them to fall off. So it's best for me to take it like, oh gosh, that chocolate smells so good. I'm going to get these three chips that fell off. Look at that. I, it smells like a deep uh, chocolate brownie. Um, and then lastly, we have the sweet apple pie. Okay, and here is that. So it looks like the sweet apple pie and the uh, maple pecan are shorter. They're a little smaller than the other two, uh, but they're all huge brownie slices. So we're going to put these in the microwave, each one of them, and we'll let you know how long we leave them in there, and then we'll be back. So this four pack was $36 plus $10 shipping. So $46 for four brownies. So uh, just, I wanted you to know that. And they were shipped from Pasadena, uh, Texas. Pasadena, Texas is where these came from. So I thought that was interesting too. I always like to know where things are coming from. So we're gonna try the carrot cake first. Go ahead and take you a big bite. Oh, how long did you heat them? 18 seconds. 18 seconds, because they're heat. It was kind of getting goopy on the side at 18. It's like, oh, better not do it anymore. Right. Okay, uh, carrot cake blondie base, graham Oreos. Mm -hmm. So the, the base, carrot cake blondie base, then graham Oreos, then more carrot cake blondie base, cream cheese frosting, and then pecans and white chocolate chips. That is what's on here. You're going to try to get some of the, the stiffer, the thicker like the side. Edge. Yeah. Because I want some of that ooey gooey center too. You can see the carrot, by the way. Mm -hmm. The edge piece is very firm. Mm -hmm. Like it's, um, it's not hard, like crunchy hard, but it is much firmer than the center part. Oh yeah, you can never see the right thing. So did you like the edge piece or did you think it was too firm? Um, it almost comes across as a little dry, mm. but I love the center part. It is a little drier, but not bad. No. But the best part's the center. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I agree. I think if it had been, like if the edge had been crunchy, mm -hmm. like a brownie, like, like a regular pan of brownie we make, um, I think I would have liked it better on the outside, but these are not really crunchy, it's just drier. But it's um, still really good. My, what is your favorite part of that? Because I, I have a specific favorite part. 
Um, no, no, the texture really is the favorite part for me. My, well, there's a specific texture. Oh, wow. <laughs> the white chips. Oh, yeah, I, I love that. because there's so many white chips on here. And each individual, you get a mouthful of them, and you get the texture of each mm -hmm. individual little dense white chip, and they're very, very sweet. And I think that is an overall really nice flavor. Very nice. I couldn't specifically say, oh, I tasted that um, Graham Oreo. No, I think I, you do see the Oreo in there. Though. Yes. Oh, I think it's in there, absolutely. Yeah. But I couldn't specifically taste that. It does taste like a nice carrot cake, mm -hmm. though, I yeah. think. You get those same spices that you would mm -hmm. get in carrot cake. You get a little bit of that carrot flavor occasionally. Not all the time, but it, occasionally. But the, the seasoning is not, like, overwhelming. Mm -hmm. it's, a, no. it's a very nice... A take on a brownie carrot cake. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, if you like carrot cake, you'll like that. Okay, <laughs> this one is the maple pecan, and boy, that maple, it's strong. You it. And you can smell it. It is a maple pecan blondie base with then brown sugar pop tarts, which you can clearly see, and then more maple blondie base, and then maple butter cream. Okay. The cream on top is like a, almost like a frosting. I think if you like maple, maple you're, you'll like that. Mm-hmm. Mm, that edge piece is better. Oh, you like that? See, I like the, I, I didn't mind that one. I really didn't. This one's not quite as dry. Do you notice something about that edge piece? It's like chips. How many edge pieces do you know of? I mean, even when I bake stuff myself here at home, that you actually get chips in the the outer crust part. Normally, the chips aren't all the way to the crust like that. This is all the way to the edge. That There's, means they pack it in with um, cream. It's yes. very firm. Mm -hmm. Probably a firm dough, a dough more than the I like That impresses me, though, because I don't even do that at home, mm -hmm. you know? Now, the maple for me, getting towards the chemical side, like overwhelmingly like almost chemical like not right. quite it's not quite there but it's 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 approaching mm -hmm. I mean, it's all in that frosting i didn't feel that way when on the edge i ate the outer edge because i didn't get any frosting in mm -hmm. that bite it's 100 percent the frosting but the frosting is a very very strong maple mm -hmm. it doesn't come across as chemical to me no that's what i'm saying but it's, it's getting there it's like approaching Yes. Look, you can just eat the frosting off the top. It's very sweet. I like I like the frosting, but it's if they went any further, it'd be too far. And it's just as sweet as it can oh, be. Super sweet. I like, like that. Cream. I like that frosting all by itself. Like I could eat that and just yeah, make myself sick on that the frosting. Brownie just like by itself. Oh, the brownie, the bottom part. I'm just crazy about this this maple. The bottom part's good. It's not sweet, of course, but and that's so soft. I mean, I know it's we very, heated it up in the microwave, but that, I mean, it's incredibly soft. It's very rich, uh, almost buttercream like. Mm -hmm. Yes, very you're going to want some a glass of milk. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I love it. I think yeah, it's delicious. It's very good. Okay. Like I said, it doesn't taste chemical like to me as it is, but it could get there. This one's heavy. It's a big boy. Okay. Where's the edge? We need to just call one big boy. Uh, Nutella Cheesecake Oreo, Nutella Cheesecake Fudge Brownie Base, and then White Chocolate Chips, Double Stuff Oreo Cookies, More Nutella Cheesecake Fudge Brownie Base, Crushed Oreo Cookies, White Chocolate Chips, and Vanilla Icing. Let me see Oreo. Ooh, yeah. Did you get your good bite? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Plenty, of, plenty of Oreo. Oh, that's your second bite? Mm -hmm. I never saw you get your first one. This one, it, it just from looking at it, doesn't seem as ooey gooey as the other two in the center, but now it might come be that way. Uh, the first one was definitely a gooier mm -hmm. brownie. The maple, it was a little firmer. This one is, is probably firmer than that even, but no. it's not dry. No, but there's a crunchiness to it. Yeah. From all those cookies. I like the chocolate though. Mm-hmm. The chocolate is a very rich chocolate. It is a rich chocolate. 
Mm. I just got a piece right there. It was very gooey. Mm. I mean, like, like as soft as soft can be. Oh, right there, yeah. you can see it. It's almost like it's not. Cooked. You, it's <laughs> shiny looking. They even has a, a little bit of that sugar gritty texture, like a brownie batter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the edges, oh my so. gosh, that is awesome. Mm -hmm. The gooey part's really good. That's my favorite part. My favorite part is the gooey part. Oh my gosh. Mm. Again, the edge, typical brownie edge, a little drier. It's so rich. It's a very rich chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then you get all these a mess. white chips on top. And the white chips on top, they're not gooey. No. They really um, retain their... Um, their uh, Shape and texture. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I absolutely, I love, love, love yeah, it. Yeah, it's very good. That's like my favorite one so far. Yeah, I like a good chocolate brownie. Mm -hmm. That's just like chocolate overload. Right there. Mm -hmm. well, that would be almost a death by chocolate kind of. Yes, that's, wow. yes. Um, it's cocaine. I'm looking for this because I love a good apple. Yeah, it's an apple fam. Sweet apple pie, mm. cinnamon blondie base, and then mini apple pie. More of our cinnamon blondie base, glazed apples, crumble topping, cinnamon sugar, and a vanilla icing drizzle. And this absolutely looks very it's ooey gooey. Very gooey. But it has, I mean, it has apples and an apple pie and <laughs> apple pie has it, but I don't know. I, mean, it was a little I would pie. like to know because it literally says mini apple pie. It's like, okay, where did you get this mini apple pie? From they made, maybe? I don't know. It didn't say how much. So it's like, okay, is that a Krispy Kreme mini apple pie or is it a Tasty Cake mini apple pie? Um, because these other ones, they put things with them, like the the carrot cake. Um, the carrot cake and mentioned Oreos. The maple pecan mentioned oh, a pop tart. The Nutella mentioned Nutella nice. and Oreo. So this one, you would think they got that apple pie from somewhere, but we don't know. And I tried to find um, um, ingredients because I was going to look at the ingredients because I wanted to, I wanted to know where did the apple pie come from, and they don't have the ingredients. So. Um, you just, you know, if you if you have any allergies, you need to know that that they're not giving you the ingredients. Maybe they might ask. at a later date. Um, ask for and the calories, um, he says on his uh, frequently asked questions that they do not have calories. He said just consider each one to be 800 to 1,000 calories. I can tell you right now, that's a heck of a lot more than 1,000 calories. I think so too. I bet you it's closer to... 2,000, 1,800 to 2,000 calories. Yeah. Probably so. Yeah. You know, now that you mentioned it, the chocolate, when you said it was, I forgot it was Nutella. Yeah. I didn't really get Nutella in there. Like, and it didn't have that hazelnut chocolate flavor. Well, it was, it, no. But it, it's so it rich. Didn't. It's so rich that it's. And there were only hard. certain sections of it that had that ooey gooeyness. Right. But I didn't specifically taste Nutella because the chocolate is so. Yeah, it's everything so rich. So rich. I like the apple a lot. I like the spices in it. I like the texture of the apple pieces. Mm -hmm. um, it's almost like sliced <laughs> apples or chunks of apples. Mm -hmm. um, it's really nice. It's, this is gonna sound awful. It's almost too gooey. It's like you've had an apple pie that's not quite baked enough. Mm -hmm. um, maybe if it heated up a little bit more, cause it's, you know, we've been trying the other three before we got to this one. So it's not, I mean, it's a little warm, but it's not really. I think maybe if we'd warmed it up a little bit more, Mm. Or if I was eating it warm, it might give me a different impression. Mm. But with it not being warm, it, it kind of just seems underdone. Like an apple pie that's not baked. You I know love what I mean? It's good. I love the flavor of it. Don't get me wrong. Um, That'd be my number two. Uh, it's delicious. I have no complaints about it. It's mm. not too. It's not too ooey gooey for me. But you have to realize that I'm that person who eats raw dough right out of the mixer. Like, I'm the one licking the bowl. I'm the one eating all the stuff raw anyway. So, that this does not matter to me whatsoever. Um, before somebody asks me, because I always get it, people love for me to say, which do you like better, this brand or this brand? We did order 
we did do an, another review on some brownies. It was a four pack. They looked, they were as big as these. And I can tell you, without a doubt, hands down, these are better. Uh, the Boo Holtz are, are better. These are better brownies. Um, like, like I would order these again, mm -hmm. whereas the other ones, when we finished reviewing them, I thought, ah, I wouldn't be tempted to ever order those again. They're just, they were, they were nice. They weren't anything special. These are really souped up. These, these are different. These, um, they have, they're not just uh, trying to throw a bunch of, of candy and stuff in there. I mean, they did, but they're not just doing it to just call it a certain name and hope that it's good. This, these actually have the flavors go together. Like, like the, these flavors go w well together. Yeah, they're very well balanced. Uh, yes, they are. Whereas the other ones kind of just seem like Hodge -podge. we're just gonna put it in there just so we really can dilly. call it this special name. And uh, I did not feel that way with these. Oh, these are really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I mean, you know, I mean, like I said, all of them have a little, oh, like the apple, it's getting towards there. The apple, a little underdone for me, but but I still love the flavor. I love the texture. I like them all. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite's going to be the chocolate one, though. Uh, my favorite's the chocolate, too. That is the Nutella Cheesecake Oreo. Mm -hmm. And like we said, neither one of us necessarily got Nutella, but there's so much going on in it, you're not going to miss, miss it, it at all. Okay, now I this. I think they'd have to load up half that of Nutella to taste it. Uh, yeah. Because of how much is going on. Okay, where are you going from here? Probably the apple one. Okay. But the cheesecake is really close. So it's either the apple cheesecake. Not cheesecake. Not cheesecake. Uh, carrot, carrot cake. cake. <laughs> uh, they're, uh, they're similar to me. They're very, very, very similar. It, it could be either, they could be a tie for second for me. Okay. And then the maple would be a fourth for me. Wow. Okay, I'm going to go with uh, the chocolate number one. But then I am gonna go with apple number yeah, two. I, I really it. like I it. it, love it. But then I'm going with maple number three. And the carrot last. And then the carrot last. Like Even the though carrot. I love the carrot, I think the carrot is delicious. There's nothing wrong with it, but somebody has to come in last yeah. place. Um, now these are the November, the fall box. They come out with different flavors every single month. So um, Austin and Amanda, like I said, they bought these for us. So this is the first time I'm ever hearing about this company. Yeah, never heard. So I have no idea what other flavors they sell or how long they've been in business. There was nothing on their website that said started in or uh, yeah, like like this is the I don't even know like this is the owner and I started in this like I started this company in 2020. Like in and or there's like nothing on there like that. So it's always nice to have. I don't know how long they've been in business, so I, what I'm saying is I don't know how many brownies they have come out with. So uh, that will be fun to see is to check back, like these are November, to check back in December and see, okay, these are the December ones and, mm -hmm. and to see what they have. You do peppermint, eggnog, Egg, all kinds of different stuff. Gingerbread. Gingerbread. Definitely eggnog. Yeah, they, they can do all kinds of different stuff. That could be hard to do though. Yeah. And, Hopefully they don't make the mistake if they do of buying those Pepperidge Farm eggnog cookies and put them in there because those don't taste like eggnog. Oh Spoiler alert, they did not taste like eggnog. So that would probably be a hard flavor to get. Mm -hmm. um, but I really like these a lot. Very good, very good quality. Yes, and they're absolutely huge. So you can tell we we eat and eat and eat, but there still is a Tons. lot left to enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've ever um, had any of these, you'll have to let us know what flavor did you have. And thanks for watching.